Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the video. In this session, we're going to take a look at how we can schedule news items and pages within SharePoint. Before we get started, if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And also, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time that Cloud Design Box uploads a video. Let's get into SharePoint. So here we are in SharePoint. First of all, I just need to check to see if scheduling has been enabled. In some organisations, it's turned off. You may have access to be able to do this. If you don't, uh, you'll need to speak to your system administrator. I'm going to go to the top of the page here and click on settings. And I need to go into site contents. From here, I'm going to click on site pages. You may actually see the link to site pages up here, but for my organization, it's hidden way down in here. I'm going to click on site pages and at the top here, we have our scheduling button here. I'm just going to click on that. And as we can see, currently scheduling is turned off. Click the button over and now I can schedule pages and news articles. Just close that down and I'm just going to go back to the beginning again. So first of all, we're going to take a quick look at how we can schedule a news article. So I'm just going to come down my page here. I've got a news area that's been created and I'm going to start off by clicking add. I'm going to use a news post and I'm going to choose a blank. Create post and I'm now going to create the page that's going to be released sometime in the future. A news article has now been created and I've got a couple of options available to me. I can go into page details and this will open up a panel on the right hand side here. And I can just come down to where it says scheduling. So I'll slide the switch over and then beneath there I need to enter a value. I click anywhere on the box. This will then open up a calendar and also a time box. I'm going to select the 23rd of May in this case and I want a release time of midday. Click the tick, as you can see, I'll just close the panel here, the publish button goes to schedule and then all I need to do is click on schedule and then once the schedule time is achieved it will then be added to my news area within my site page. The second way I can schedule this post is by saving as a draft. So this is what the end user will see once my news article is published. As you can see, it's not posted yet. However, if I go to page details, the option to schedule is not available to me. So I need to go back up here into my settings cog, go to site contents, and into site pages here. Again, you may have the site pages option on the actual page itself. However, in my organization, that's hidden. Here is my news article. And then if I hit the three dots, the more actions button and come down details. And here we have the scheduling button. All I need to do then is switch it on, enter my values in. So again, I'm going to go for the 23rd for it then to be released at midday. And click the box. That's now being applied. If I just click on the title here, that will then open up my news article. And then all I need to do is click on schedule. And then once the schedule time is achieved, it will then be added to my news area within my site page. It also works very much the same way when you're creating a page. So for example, uh, I'm going to create a brand new page to be added uh, to the payroll team here. So again, I'm going to select new. I'm going to go to page. I'm going to choose a blank. And I'm going to create the page. So here I have my page. It's all been created and it's now ready for publishing. Like the news article, I can come to page details. I can then turn scheduling on. I can then enter my publish time. So in this case, I'm going to go for Wednesday here and I want it to come online at 0930 hours. 
I can then save that and that's now good to go. I can close the panel and as you can see the post button has now been set to schedule. And if I click on page details again it will also tell me there as well. And close that. I still get full edit right so again I can click on edit and reopen it and I can make further changes if I choose. All I need to then is just click on either save as draft or schedule it and that's now ready to go. Also now that my page has been scheduled I still get the option to be able to promote my page and also I can send it to and I can still activate the immersive reader if required. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow the Cloud Design Box YouTube channel and also you can visit our website at cloud designbox.co.uk. Thanks for watching.